Well, welcome back. We are in Bandon, Oregon, going south on From Highway 101. Three miles on Second Street, southeast. And we're gonna take the Beach Loop. It's open. Old Town, right, one fourth mile. Oh, wow. We're actually going to go straight through the town, I think, and then we'll cut off. This looks pretty neat. Welcome to Old Town Bandon. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> like it. Bandon coffee, that looks fun. In 300 feet, turn right to Baltimore Avenue Southeast. Yeah, this is really neat. This would be fun to... Turn right to Baltimore Avenue Southeast. Fun to walk around. This is way cool. It's definitely old and historic. U-turn if possible at 2nd Street Southeast. Turn right to 1st Street Southeast. You know what? I'm going to pull in this... Oh, I can't. I'm going to pull in one of these lots real quick. Turn left to Oregon Avenue Southwest. Quarter of a mile, turn left. Should be a beach parking lot. In 500 feet, turn left to Fourth Street Southwest. left to 4th Street Southwest. This is a neater town than I thought. I mean, you never hear of it. Bandit. Turn left to Franklin Avenue Southwest. In 400 feet, turn left to Harrison Avenue Southwest. Look at these houses. Look at that tree. Oh my god. This thing is ancient. Turn left to Harrison Avenue Southwest. Alright, Miss Google Maps does not want me to take the scenic road. In 800 feet, turn left. Wow. Turn left to Jackson Avenue Southwest. The views. Oh my god, these people have. And they're out of the tsunami zone up here. In 300 feet, turn sharp left to 7th Street Southwest. This is incredible. Turn sharp left to 7th Street Southwest. Like, if you stay on the highway, you just, you drive right by all of this. You don't even know it's here. Yeah, 
some land available here too. It'd be fun to build something like a tiny house on one of these lots. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. The Oregon coast is, I think what makes it so good is it's so accessible, unlike California. In one quarter of a mile, turn left. Wow. Oh, Table Rock Motel right here. They have a county park to the west. In 500 feet, turn left to 11th Street Southwest. Yeah, this place is incredible. This is like a little gym, hidden gym, abandoned Oregon. Turn left to 11th Street Southwest. I mean, you never hear anyone talking about it. Oh, we can go right here. And there's so much vacant land, I can't believe it. Turn right to Portland Avenue Southwest. Wow. Turn left to Portland Avenue Southwest and then turn right. All right, we're going to get some video here. Well, we quick stop at the um, abandoned little park here overlooking the ocean. And we're gonna get back on the road. steps you could walk down but we don't have time for that but again this parking lot is another reason I want a van or a camper truck and you're not tied down to a campground that way I mean you could park there all day eat sleep use your bathroom and then um, be on your way when you're ready to find your spot to sleep for the night because even like with the trailer we have we are tied to a campground um, we have to go back and forth and I just don't really like that um, I want ultimate freedom I was talking to the guy that camped by me last night he had a truck with a, with the um, camp the uh, camper in the back of the truck that pops up so it's a lightweight one, they call it lightweight. Um, that's probably what I'd want. I just don't know if it's worth buying that and a truck. You know, you're gonna spend 100, 110 grand potentially. If you get a really nice one, you're gonna spend 120 grand. I wonder if it's better just getting a van, either that's already decked out or decking it out yourself, you know? Because um, a bare bones van is, you know, 60, 70 grand, like, with four-wheel drive and everything. And, you know, tall ceiling, extended. I'd almost rather do it all myself, just get an empty van for 60, 70 grand. And then you can put the stuff in you want, how you want it. And go wherever you want. And you can stealth camp then, for sure. Oh my god, that was called Face Rock um, Park back there. This, this is so cool. I would want to live here. <laughs> In Bandon, Oregon. This is the Beach Loop Road. Paradise. It's 
so I watch Washington I like Seabrook I think in Oregon I like Bandon <laughs> Oh, I forgot to wash the window. In one quarter of a mile, turn left. Uh, I really hope it's not interfering with the video. In 500 feet, turn left to Seabird Drive Southwest. Turn left to Seabird Drive Southwest. Can you imagine the summers here? And people actually have yards and your house isn't like right close together. Proceed two and a half miles on Beach Loop Road. Oh, there's a house for sale. Wow, beachfront. Oh my gosh, it's an older one. I bet it's still expensive. Hopefully it's not a tear me down. Wow, uh, there's a Best Western way out here. And Windermere on the beach. Wow, they are full. They have little cottages they rent out. Gosh, this is so neat. Wow. a tank of diesel left um, 270 mile range and we went 290 miles so we got gas in um, all the way back at Long Beach Washington made it down to Bandon Oregon on half a tank it's pretty good oh my god the scotch broom the guy at my campsite said it's all blooming and he was right Jeez. only to the right everything's named devil here <laughs> devil's gulch devil's kitchen there was another devil the scotch broom is blooming I mean it's March the beginning of March in Washington I think it's April Wow so here's the China Creek day use area so it looks like there's hiking trails on the bluff in this area.
back to 101. I think I'm going to make this a band right video. Turn right to US 101. Um, so it's not too long. But thanks for watching.